Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna keep this brief. I just spent like half an hour yelling in the car. Some little horse, I think. <clears throat> um, but I, <laughs> I, I want to get in and put my daughter to bed because um, I haven't seen her all day. But I, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta get something off your chest and. Hopefully the fact that I was just, <laughs> I probably look like a crazy person in traffic. Um, but I also hopefully got all the cursing out because there was a lot of it. But I was thinking about, the first video I made was two years ago. Um, it was in, just at the end of March, so it was just over two years ago. It was in response to Parkland. Um... And it wasn't in response to Parkland necessarily, but it was in response to the response to Parkland. Um, and I was just really frustrated about the conversation. And the way I started that video is I talked about how um, oftentimes whenever there's a tragedy, we want an answer right away. We want, we want a really quick, um, simple answer right away. And we do it because it's expedient. We do it because it's easy. But in the same way that if you're really hungry and you can stop it and get like a Big Mac or something and it might fill your stomach up at the time but doesn't really provide you any nutritional value. If you only look for really quick, simple, cut and dry answers to complicated issues, it does to your mind the same thing that fast food does to your body. Um, over time, it's really bad for you physically. And if you only look for oversimplified answers um, to complicated things, then over time, your mind erodes. Your your ability to think critically erodes. Um, and it's really bad for you. And I was thinking about that because that's what I think is is going on in a lot of ways here. Um, I'm really I'm really frustrated. You know, I think there's a lot of you probably fall into one of these or more of groups of people operating right now. Um, there are people, I think, by the way, this first group is most people. Most people, I think, are well-intentioned and just want to, like, they're like, I'm a decent person and I want to know what's the decent person perspective here. Um, so they might be upset, they might be frustrated, whatever. Um, but they just want to know. And, by the way, I expect this to cut in and out because I'm on 5G and 5G is garbage here. Um, and it did it last time. So I'm just prepping myself to be frustrated. But that's okay. Like I said, I want to keep it short. But there's people that are well-intentioned that just want to know, like, what, what should I do with looking for answers? There's people that are um, hurting. There's people that are ignoring pain. Um, there's people that are dismissing. Um, there's people that are just, they want to act. They're like, what can I do um, to help? And there's people that are exploiting. There's people that are that are exploiting what's going on right now. Um, and there's people that are seeking to exploit pain. They're seeking they're seeking to exploit the pain of millions of our fellow citizens. Um, there's people that are s stoking divisions that are using what's happening um, to further certain things that they are already trying to do anyway. Um, there's people that are using it to confirm their biases. There's people that will use what's going on right now to seize power. Um, there's people that will use what's going on to instill fear in you. Um, there's people that are just trying to get theirs. Um, and so it's a complicated thing. Not all protesters are looters. Not all looters are protesters. Not all racists are cops. Not all cops are racists. Um... But I, I'm just fed up with the people that are trying to use this to divide us. I can't understand the motivations of a lot of the folks in the media and the way they're they're covering some of this. Um, you know, we had these things happen really back to back. We have this absolutely just egregious death of Ahmed Ahmed Arbery. Um, who was hunt, hunted down, really, chased down by these vigilante morons. Garbage, 
people, chased, chased him down. And then we had the system there that was, was corrupt. Absolutely, they covered for him. And thank God for cameras to show what happened. And thank God for the internet, social media, and being able to shine a light on it. Just an, an injustice that happened there. And those bastards are going to jail. And I hope everyone that was involved in the cover-up is going to jail. Um, so we have that. And we have this instance of this obvious racist instance in Central Park in New York where the woman calls the cops on a guy who's just bird watching. And he's like, put your dog on a leash. It's supposed to be a leash. And she freaks out on him. I'm going to call the cops and say there's an African-American man threatening me. That's racist, obviously. And she, she lost her job. And honestly, I'm on the fence about how I feel about that because, you know, I don't know if she should have lost her job about that, but I definitely don't feel bad for her either, you know? So, you know, it is what it is. You, you, you act like a garbage person, there's going to be consequences, you know? And then we this kind of caps, it's capped by this death of George Floyd. And you can't even watch that video and not be just not just be, be sad, but be angry at every person. It's like the cop is obviously a bad guy. That guy's a piece of crap, but it's like, why are there these other cops that are standing there? Why? Like there are people all around saying he can't breathe, help him. You're like, and you watch and you're like, you're killing him. Cause you know, what's going to happen there. You know, you're like, this guy's dead. He's killing him. He is killing him. Period. And you can't watch that and not be so outraged at it. And so we have these things happening. We have millions of people that are hurting. And then we have other people that are like, okay, I just want to know, like, what do we do? How do we interpret all this? And then we have other people who are trying to exploit the pain, who are trying to exploit the anger. And there are some of the loudest voices in our media do not give a damn about that exploitation. They're ripping at the heart of our society by just asymmetrically covering what's happening like there are protests there are peaceful protests that are happening but they're ignoring there are people that are dying also there there was a former sheriff st louis an older guy died he's dead i watched the video it's heartbreaking there's a guy he's already been dead you see the blood and the guy filming it's like hang in there og hang in there og like no this no he's gone all this for a TV. We're better than this. That guy's dead. I watched a video of a woman, just try, an older woman, trying to protect her business. And these, a gang of dudes, they're all wearing, you know, I don't know what color they are. I don't know. I don't care. They're wearing gloves and everything to protect their identity. And they beat the hell out of her with a board for just trying to protect her business. She's just standing outside. And they attacked this old woman. Police officers were shot in New York. We have business owners beaten almost to death for just trying to protect their businesses. To pretend like everything is sunshine and rainbows is ridiculous. It's irresponsible. There are people dying, multiple people dying as a result of what's happening right now. And if you say that that's okay and it just is what it is and that's the only way, that, that, that's a protest. No, no, it's not. That former sheriff in St. Louis last night did not have to die. He didn't have to die. Just like George Floyd didn't have to die. We have to be able to be principled and say, this is evil. That shouldn't have happened. That's evil. That shouldn't have happened. This is what happens. This is what I've been trying to say ever since I started making content. We have to see each other as people, as humans. If all you do is demonize the people that you disagree with, then that's where this leads. You see the other person is pure evil and it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want to, to justify moving them out of the way. They're, they're evil. They're part of the problem. They're a fascist. They're a communist. What? I don't care. We cannot treat each other like this. We have to reject anything that tries to divide us to the point where we are willing to excuse the worst possible behavior just because it's against someone we disagree with. We can't do that. We have to see each other as humans. We have to, even those we strongly disagree with. We have to fight for their rights just as much as we would fight for our own. People 
are dying. Not every protester is some looter. I saw a clip last night. It's about a guy who got arrested and in New York for looting. And they said, why are you out here? And he said, I'm just trying to get paid, man. Like, I'm just trying to get mine. If that's what you're trying to do, then just be careful about it. Because, you know, a lot of us out here are just trying to get paid. Okay, that guy doesn't represent everyone who's out there. People are individuals. That's what I'm saying about thinking critically about this stuff. People are individuals. The piece of crap that killed George Floyd is an individual. That he's an individual. That guy doesn't represent all people out there protesting just because he said he's trying to get paid any more than the cop who killed George Floyd represents all police officers. We have to see people as individuals and we have to treat them like human beings and have some common decency. We have to plant a flag on common decency, on respect, on humanity, on principle and say, I will not move from this spot. I don't care if I agree with you or not. I will not move from this spot. We are not good. We can't have a country. We can't have a country if this is how we treat each other. We can't have a country if people aren't willing to say no. Just say, say no to this and apply five seconds of critical thinking. We can't do that. We have to say no. I am mad as hell at the, at the news articles that I'm reading. They're, it's, it's garbage. There are people that are trying to exploit this. And they're exploiting the pain of people, by the way. There are people feeling real pain, real pain and real anger. And there, the, there are those fomenting that and trying to stoke the flames of division. I don't care what side of the spe ideological spectrum you're on. You're not providing a solution. You're making it worse. And it is ripping, ripping our ability to have a society, ripping it apart. And they don't care. They want your clicks and they want your votes. And that's, they'll do or say whatever. Do or say whatever to remain relevant or to remain in power. We can't do that. We have, we have to say no to that. Be an immovable object in a sea, in a sea of people that are unprincipled, in a sea of, even if it alienates everyone around you. I'm going to be an immovable object. I'm going to plant my flag on humanity, on common decency. From this spot, I will not move. I don't care if you agree. I don't care if you disagree with me. I will fight for your rights. I will fight for your rights. I will treat you like a human. This happens when we don't see each other as humans. This is what happens. I don't have, I don't have an answer. I don't, I don't have a neat way to, to end this. I need to end this. I got to go. But I just, I hope you understand that you look around and or say no to this. See, I'm going to think about this situation. And what it means. I'm going to think about this situation and what it means. I'm going to treat people like individuals. I'm going to treat them with humanity, with common decency, with love, with respect. There are politicians I strongly disagree with. They deserve respect. There are a lot of people who believe certain ideologies that I think are horrible, dangerous, dangerous. We have to treat them like humans. We have to. We are people. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. We have to see the common humanity in each other. We can't go on like this. We can't go on like this. People are dying. Lots of people are dying. There are people who just want to live their lives, just trying to protect their homes, protect their businesses. They don't deserve this. Police officers who are just trying to protect people don't deserve this. George Floyd didn't deserve that. Ahmed Arbery didn't deserve that. Call balls and strikes. Call injustice where you see it, no matter where it falls. No matter where it falls. We, ha we have to find a place to heal. This is going nowhere. There's no, there's no healing from that this takes us. This isn't take us, taking us to a place of healing. This is burning everything down, hoping for the best. All right. That's it. Thank you for watching. Do something decent. Say something nice about someone you disagree with. Or just reject the hate. Reject the hate. You can be mad. You can be mad. You can disagree. You should. That's the bedrock of this country. Is disagreement. Is protest. We wouldn't have the civil rights movement if it weren't for protest being ingrained into this country. And also, histories of injustice ingrained into this country. Both can be true. Both can be true.
You can be mad and not burn everything down and demonize everyone around you. You can want justice and not hate every person around you that you disagree with. This hate is going to kill us. It's going to kill us. We don't say no. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, whatever. I would rather you just reject the hate. Don't, don't watch or engage in any of my content ever again as long as you go out there and plant a flag on the hill of human decency and don't move from that spot. I'd be okay with that. Never followed me, never watched anything else again. Shut this video off right now. As long as you say, I'm going to be a principled person. I'm not going to move from this spot and I'm going to treat people with respect no matter who they are. Follow me on Twitter at my Monday Mind. Uh, subscribe to YouTube. It's Return to Reason. My locals is uh, locals.com slash Return to Reason. Uh, something like that. I don't know. I'll put the link in this when I eventually upload it. I got to go put my daughter to bed. Let's go have some type of optimism or joy in this broken, broken world. Anyway, have a good night, everyone. Be good to each other.